Uh, as mentioned, my name is David Slattery. Uh, our capstone group uh, was tasked with designing a self-sustaining business solution for Innovation Africa. Our advisor is Kizzy Charles Guzman. Now, tonight, I'd like to introduce you to our client. I'd also like to uh, tell you a little bit about the problem uh, that they're facing and the one that we were tasked to help try and solve. Uh, I'll go over the scope of our work, uh, the deliverables that we've provided, uh, various recommendations, uh, which will include a product assessment calculator, which I'll get into, a organizational management tool, and finally I'll conclude by discussing uh, some of the uh, sustainability uh, benefits that uh, th that region will continue to enjoy if they become self-sustaining. Innovation Africa was founded in 2008. They're a nonprofit uh, NGO with offices in uh, Israel, uh, New York, and Uganda. They have a, uh, a practice whereby they take donations from uh, uh, people in Israel and in New York, and they take the donations and they install uh, solar photovoltaic panels on the roofs of schools, orphanages, medical clinics, and uh, water pumps. The, the net impact is they've impacted over uh, almost half a million people. Uh, and I'll show you a couple of the projects, what they look like. You can see a health clinic in Uganda, a water pump, uh, and then a primary school in Malawi. And it's, what's interesting to note is that pictures at night. And what this has allowed people to do is to study at night, uh, to, if you're a medical clinic, to refrigerate vaccines, uh, to see patients 24 hours a day. So it's, it, it's had a, numerous uh, social benefits. Uh, you know, it should be mentioned that Innovation Africa focuses on two primary problems that they're trying to solve. One is the electrification gap, which is uh, noted that there's 550 million people that still don't have electricity. Uh, and, and the other is clean water. Uh, 1.2 billion people still don't have access to clean water. So these are the, the core things that they're trying to solve in the world. Now, the issue, however, lies in the fact that they raise money uh, from the uh, nonprofit uh, donations to install solar panels, solar PV projects. After about three or four years, the batteries, uh, the inverters, the uh, labor costs, uh, the other operating and maintenance costs begin to change. Uh, and that's why they needed a separate revenue source for these uh, projects. So what they ended up doing is they started to open cell phone charging kiosks at various projects where they would charge uh, 20 cents per charge and that would provide enough revenue for them to cover the O&M expenses. Uh, however, uh, as you can see, uh, the, the clever entrepreneur on, on the right there has caught onto the practice as well and competition has really seriously eroded this source of income for them. So uh, they came to us asking us uh, essentially to propose what, what amounts to a paradigm shift in uh, how they will go forward. Uh, we're, our, our solutions look at both in the field operations and ones at the organization or ones that are internal to see how we can improve uh, management going forward. So what we did is we've delivered uh, essentially a retail product recommendation uh, for each major site and we've also developed a product assessment calculator that can be used in the field by project managers to determine whether or not a potential product he might buy uh, would be a, a good fit for that location. Uh, at the organization level, we've developed two tools. One is an evaluation methodology, and the second is an organizational management tool. This is what the client sees. This is essentially uh, a rating system and it's broken into short-term and long-term strategies. Uh, it's not important what, what these are. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of them right now. So our first major recommendation is something called a solar energy hub. This is essentially repurposed uh, shipping container that is powered uh, by uh, solar power. And at certain project locations, it will make sense to uh, plop one of these down, maybe in the center of a village, uh, at a school or clinic, uh, and, and potentially sell uh, retail products. Uh, so this will be viewed as almost a retail general store. Some of the products that might be sold include solar lanterns, solar home kits, and solar home systems. We just wanted to include an image so you could see uh, what, what these products look like. The product assessment calculator 
I'm going to go through an example of a solar lantern. A uh, solar lantern that's financed scored the highest uh, with regards to the assessment calculator. On the ground, you can see these, uh, these boxes highlighted in orange. A project manager will start to input uh, various data that only he would be familiar with. Then it will self-calculate some of the key assumptions that the organization has made or that the research has, has made. So by selecting a solar lantern that is financed in Tanzania, uh, certain uh, things will populate with regards to the operations and maintenance budgets, with regards to the potential uh, units that can be sold based on population levels. Uh, then it will get into the projected profits. Uh, the net result, if you look on the lower right-hand corner, uh, the rating uh, essentially self-calculates based on how much of the operation and maintenance budget this potential product would solve. Uh, secondly, the evaluation methodology that we've developed for them uh, is, is really focused on three core measures. The first is if they're uh, going to implement a change, it has to uh, obviously produce enough revenue uh, since that is the core issue that they're trying to solve. Uh, the second is if it is economically viable, and by this we mean it doesn't rely on subsidies or uh, capital expenditures that uh, would otherwise uh, slow down the process of implementing it. Uh, and then lastly, is it scalable? With 70 projects uh, in different locations with different socioeconomic factors, with different distances to walk for services, et cetera, uh, we need to make sure that recommendations can work in multiple locations to benefit from economies of scale. Now, uh, at the organization level, the, the first tool that we developed was this uh, organizational management tool, which is essentially an Excel uh, spreadsheet, which has all the projects in it, and it also has room for future projects. And what they're able to do, and, and it, we can't really represent it in, in a slideshow, I, I apologize, it's a very big model. Uh, what it will do is it will sh aggregate and showcase a portfolio view meaning they're going to be able to tell uh, if clinics or schools or orphanages uh, are more efficient with regards to uh, both revenue and the operational issues in certain countries. So when they're uh, determining what they should put their resources into next, uh, they'll see some trends that are developing with their business model. And it'll also help them to find uh, which projects are, are not as e efficient. This is a project or a level snapshot of the tool. Uh, so you can kind of see some of the key variables that go into this. And, and the interesting thing is we're able to tell if the uh, net uh, you know, upkeep is met. So that therefore we know if this project is self-sustaining. And that's essentially what uh, self-sustaining means for Innovation Africa, that the project after it receives the nonprofit funds is now self-sustaining by generating revenue at that specific project. Uh, so this will greatly enhance the ability for uh, Innovation Africa to manage projects. And I should mention, before they did this, uh, they would have project managers in, in Africa print out forms, and they would fill it out with a uh, pen or pencil, and they would literally mail it back to the office in Israel or in New York. So you can imagine uh, a lot of inefficiency occurred, and, and you'd have, uh, you know, effectively a, a process that was a bit like herding cats. So. Um, hopefully this is an improvement and uh, we worked closely with them to develop this. Uh, and, and lastly, I wanted to conclude by some of the sustainability benefits that Innovation Africa uh, obviously uh, you know, offers to the region. The first is the uh, reduction of kerosene reliance. 30% uh, of the income of the people in, in, in these uh, countries, 30% of their income goes towards kerosene costs. Uh, kerosene is the cause of uh, 1.5 million deaths per year, uh, and not to mention all the uh, GHG uh, and, and other emission issues that uh, you know that specific uh, problem has. And not, you know, and then obviously being uh, a purveyor of solar technology, it has to be said if they solve some of the electrification gap issues by using uh, solar technology, that's very beneficial for the planet. Uh, and lastly, you know, one thing with the competitors that we wanted to address is provide a marketplace for them to get their goods and foster a very in inclusive uh, community. So that, so we're, we're actually trying to uh, create more, have them create more jobs, have them create more of a, a marketplace as opposed to competing uh, with, with, with other uh, people in the village. Uh, and, and lastly, I just wanted to, to highlight, you know, we did a lot of analysis and we found that they have to increase 
cash flows by 300% in order to uh, remain self-sustaining. And that's really a staggering number. It's going to involve a paradigm shift. It's going to involve taking a business risk. And that's why these tools we've developed, the product assessment calculator, uh, the organizational uh, model for the, for, at the portfolio level, and also some of the uh, specific products such as the solar energy hub and, and the solar lanterns that will be sold in them are, are important for them to really think through and, and implement. And it, it's time for them to kind of take the next step in their evolution. Uh, and with that, I'd be happy to take any questions. Uh, these tools that you created, it, what kind of training is needed and what kind of time and energy and people are going to be needed in order to essentially educate these businesses on how to use these tools and these assessment calculators properly? No, it's a, it's a great question. The, the assessment calculator is, is actually pretty easy because the, the inputs that you saw are essentially only going to be, uh, that, that, that's all that the project manager will see. Uh, the rest of the outputs uh, are, are seen uh, at, at the uh, organization level. So, uh, so that tool is fairly easy. The organizational management tool is a very complicated, big model that takes in all the data and streamlines it for an aggregated view. Uh, we've been working closely with someone at Innovation Africa that's going to take over that tool. She has a statistics and math background, uh, so we're developing it so it's user-friendly specifically for her uh, to help the organization. Thanks.